Hey everybody, uh, Nick here from Gamma.io, co-founder, and um, hopefully some of you, uh, some of you have seen us in the in the space before. Um, great to be joined, of course, and and you know honored to be joined actually by such fantastic builders uh, in the space. So um, yeah, I'll just get right into it. Um, Gamma uh, is a creator launchpad and Bitcoin NFT marketplace, both on L1 Bitcoin for inscriptions and on L2 on Stacks, Stacks NFTs. Uh, and I think like the, the key thing that really sets Gamma apart is our creator focus. So, uh, you know, we're of course have tools for uh, collectors and traders. That's, you know, absolutely necessary in the NFT space, but more than anything, we focus on creators, giving creators, you know, the tools, the resources, the support to earn, grow, and, you know, preserve their legacy on Bitcoin uh, the most, you know, immutable and and secure and permanent, you know, ledger of record that we that we have. So, um, I can you know dive a little bit into into what we do and and a uh, little bit of like our you know our our journey to today and and also maybe a little bit of a teaser of of what's coming next. So, just a few things that you know we we kind of have under our umbrella of of tooling. We of course, like I said, have tools for collectors and traders to, you know, find and, and discover uh, either independent artists or projects or even brands and companies that are that are launching NFTs um, and and, you know, tools to trade these, and, you know, uh, you know, basic basic tools, buying, selling, making offers, that kind of thing. Um, but like I said, the the real like focus area for us is creator tools. So um, you know, creating uh, tools so that creators can uh, launch any, basically any type of NFT that they want, any type of inscription they want, uh, and, you know, lots of different sales mechanics so that, you know, no matter what they're trying to do and, and what audience they're trying to connect with um, or, you know, what uh, career they're trying to, you know, uh, get into as, as an artist, they, they have the tools uh, to, uh, to be able to do that. Um, and this is, you know, open to anybody. So there's no, um, uh, you know, you, you can come to the platform and and within a few minutes you could get going uh, without any experience. We try to make it as as easy as possible to to be able to do that. A little bit of the the backstory here to give a little context. Um, you know, we we started on Stacks in 2021. Uh, it feels like eons ago in the in the crypto sphere. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a pretty crazy time when, you know, as if, if you guys have been around, you know, since then Ethereum was seeing a, a big NFT boom, uh, but there wasn't really much attention on, on Bitcoin and, uh, and, you know, via stacks, of course. Uh, so we really saw this as an opportunity to, uh, to, to do something a little bit more, uh, what, what we thought is more long lasting and, and more secure and, uh, more decentralized. And so we focused on on Bitcoin and tried to create uh, self-service tools for creators to be able to get going, for people to be able to collect and trade. Uh, and, and we kind of just like organically grew from there. So uh, we, we grew the team to, you know, our initial team of like 10 members. And the reason I have this on the slide is to call out that every single person that we hired was directly from the Stacks ecosystem. Uh, so I think it's really like a signal to the like absolutely stunning talent that exists in the space. And, uh, you know, it's funny, I, I talk to people, uh, you know, uh, from, from the ordinal space who maybe come from a lot of other places other than Stacks. And they're like, you know, there's something in the water with those Stacks people because uh, there's, there's just like such high talent pool going on there. Uh, and uh, and and I can certainly you know testify to that. So, um, you know, with this fantastic team, we grew to become the leading launchpad for creator tools and, and marketplace on Stacks, uh, and uh, and you know, and we've gone from there. So, like I said, we also have L1 tools since Ordinals and Inscriptions came out. Um, we really have a fine art focus on L1, um, where uh, you know we kind of see like storing that actual artwork on Bitcoin suits itself well to to high value assets, but um, we have plenty of plans in store for uh, you know the the second phase of the Nakamoto release, uh, and can't wait to share uh, what's coming soon. So um, I can say that uh, 
there, you know, we're, we're pretty tight lipped about it, but there will be some big things coming uh, for both L1 and L2 very soon. Um, and we actually have a little bit of a uh, little bit of alpha. Uh, we have something called our gamma summer pass. Uh, and it's actually an L1 offering that, you know, allows you to get access to some incredible drops by independent artists. But at the end of that, it says that if you're holding it, you may get access to a special new experience at the end of the summer. So I can't really say what that is, but I can say it may have something to do with both L1 and L2. <laughs> That's all I got. 